Hello everyone, welcome to Java tutorial. Today our topic is final keyword in Java. So we have uh, one of the keyword final in Java and we can use that keyword before the variable name or before the methods and before the class. So what are the functionality of the final keyword? So what final keyword will do it will restrict the modifications once you declare the variable any method or a class as final then you cannot modify its characteristics so let's see so we have this final keyword in java it restrict restrict our modifications so if we declare the final final variable it become constant we cannot change the value of the final variable if if we have final method then that method cannot be override and if we have final class then that class cannot be extend we cannot inherit that class now one more thing that if a blank final variable or an uninitialized final variable the final variable which do not have any value is known as blank final variable or uninitialized final variable they can be only initialized in a constructor if we define a variable to which we do not give any value then that variable can be initialized in a constructor only we cannot initialize anywhere except constructor and we can have a static final variable as blank and we can initialize that variable inside a static block so these are the two more points about the final keyword so let's see final key keyword with the help of an example first what we will do we will create a final variable then we will try to modify it and see if it is a compile time error or runtime error so we have a package com dot telecomma dot oops inside this i will create a class as final variable variable example inside which i have public static or we do not need this so i have this class what i will do i will create a final variable private final int count and is equal to zero so i have this final variable as count and what i will do i will try to modify its value let's first modify this value with the help of constructor public final variable example and what we will do we will count plus plus we have tried to change its value so it is showing the compile time error if we click on the here what will it will it will show as you can see that the final field count cannot be assigned we cannot we cannot modify the value of the count because it is final if it is not final then we can modify its fill so what we can do when this variable count is final we cannot modify the value of this count its value will not change and um, the second point if we declare any blank final field then that field must be we can we can initialize that field inside the constructor only outside this constructor we cannot we cannot initialize the final static a final variable if it is static 
if it is static then we cannot modify it or initialize it inside the constructor then we have to we need some static block and inside the static block we can we can initialize the static final variable so this is the example of the static final variable we cannot we cannot uh, change the value of the stat final variable and static final we can initialize only inside the static block and if we have blank final variable that value uh, the value of that variable can be initialized in a constructor only so let's let's go to the next example so next example was method cannot be override what we will do we will try to override the method of the final final keyword suppose we have a what we will do suppose we have a class vehicle we have a class vehicle and inside this class vehicle we have a public method public void method run in which we have static system dot out dot print system dot out dot print ln vehicle run vehicle column run we have this class vehicle in which we have this public method run and inside inside this method we are displaying the string as vehicle run now we have one more class car name of classes name of classes car and this car is extending vehicle this car is extending vehicle and we are overriding the run method public run void run and what we will do we will copy this and we will paste here so we have again a car class in which i have same run method which i have in the vehicle vehicle we have run run method then we have subclass child class as car in which i have again this run method and i have override the run method of the parent so so our point is if we declare the method as final we cannot override this method what we will do we will declare the this method as final public final so as you can see that here it will give the compile time error and error is cannot override the final method from vehicle so if a method is final in the parent class we cannot override that method in the child class so this is the further use of the uh, final keyword in a method now our third point is third point is if a class is final then we cannot inherit that class suppose we have this parent class vehicle and child class car if we declare the parent class as final so it should give the error as you can see that it is giving the error and what is error the type car cannot subclass the final class vehicle so we cannot extend the final class vehicle so these are the three example of the final keyword in which we have covered that a variable having final we cannot modify its value a method which is final cannot be overwrite a class which is fi final cannot be inherited